He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Right, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. This a second and seven from the 37. Play action. Now Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30 yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets 22. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. He dumps it off to Barkley. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. Touchdown! Marquez Valdez Scantling, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to 7. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Here we go. 61. Watch it. Ball again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second. Paul has it knocked loose, and it's picked up by the Ravens. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. 
Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Offense taken over for their next possession. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know. Looking ahead, when they get into... Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, I agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I play? Yeah, you play defense. Yeah. I'll I let you a, go. I took a shot. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Play action. It's Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. They go play action now. Jackson. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And 
we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. This will be fielded inside the five. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Here's Hall again. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Wilson's throw complete there to Moore. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Wilson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Okay, this offense ready. in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Wilson. Got a man, it's Mims. And he's gonna be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You know, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've gotta push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. Straight ahead is home. Marlon Humphrey with the tackle defensively. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left it no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A give running right is Hall. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 97 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. All right, I gotta ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Working with a second and four. Play action. Now Wilson. 
And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Jets are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. set at the line for this next drive. Now they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side, but this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive, so you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Now it's Jackson. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their down carry for Barkley and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down Brandon I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces and, and I know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game right now they want to show the world they're up to the challenge 
Here's the option going left on second down. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. So he is able to turn that into positive yardage, but I think it's fair to say that those are not the shots you're wanting your quarterback to have to absorb. And he has to know sometimes when to say when. You have to know when to give yourself up, and let's face it, not easy for these guys to do because they're competitors as well. But sometimes you do learn your lesson the hard way, as he did there. On third down, Jackson. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Jets are right back in this football game. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. After the interception, here's Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Real part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end. But how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Ball on a give up the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. That penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Ready, ready, ready. With Scott. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Barkley inside handoff. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. 
This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,400 for the year. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. Here's Jackson. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz game, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's hit the 50. 30. 10. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Jackson. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One last shot for Jackson. He's going to let it fly. On a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Jets are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to see this football game. That was an excellent come-from-behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one, and in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. 
so for the Jets, they continue to show they're playoff ready as they move to 13-3 with one game 